Hi, I'm Pastor Steve Savage, and this is Grinnell Friends Church Devotion of the Day. If you are like me, you watch the local news, the national news, the latest reports, the breaking news, all so we can keep up on what's going on around the world in China, Korea, Italy, Spain, and now in the U.S. of A. We hear and watch reports about New York City, Washington State, Detroit, Chicago, and now Des Moines, Powashik, and Jasper counties. How many are infected? How many are dying? How many are on respirators? And how many respirators do we have versus what we need? Everything seems to turn on and around coronavirus. I want to try for a few moments at least to get our attention off of our own troubles and the troubles of coronavirus and look at another issue because there are many serious issues that affect mankind today. For example, did you know that 245 million Christians are being persecuted around the world today? The entire U.S. population is about 324 million. And so it's almost like the entire U.S. population is under attack where we're being beaten, imprisoned, or raped. It is like whole cities that are being destroyed and their populations being forced out of their homes and off their lands. It is like thousands, if not ten thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of young boys and girls that are being kidnapped and sold on the sex trade market. And finally, it's like me and other clergy being jailed, threatened, beaten, and intimidated, and finally murdered because we teach from the Bible and preach Jesus Christ as Lord. Jesus warns us in John 16, verse 20, Remember the word I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. That is not the good news, but it is the true news. But our situation is not hopeless, nor is theirs, the 245 million persecuted Christians. Jesus promises all Christians in John 16, verse 33, In the world you will have tribulation, but... Take heart, I have overcome the world. Will you listen as I read you from God's word? The book of Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 through 3. Keep on loving one another as brothers and sisters. Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers. For by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. Continue to remember those in prison as if you were together with them in prison. And those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, remind us again that we are less than we frequently feel we are, and you, Jesus, are more, much more, than we often give you credit for. Help us see the suffering and hurting and 245 million persecuted Christians that were in the world before coronavirus came and will still be with us when coronavirus is gone. I cannot really grasp what it is like to be genuinely persecuted for my Christian faith. Still, I want to try to understand. Comfort and give courage to those who suffer much for the sake of and in the name of Jesus Christ. And may each of us take a few moments today to lift those that are suffering up in prayer. For it's in his glorious name that we do pray. Amen. Thank you, and God bless.